Right guys, today is another type of tutorial video. Anybody who has the GTX 1070 Republic of Gamers by Asus will probably have this problem. This is a 1070 card, but as you can see, the RGBs just do not go to the end. And if you're picky like me, it can be a problem. So, for under five pounds, we can fix this problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip it off the motherboard and we will be back radio so our card is out what we will be removing is the screw on the top of each fan here inside and there is three at the bottom one two three so six screws in total this front will then come off right guys so the screws are out we've disconnected the power for the RGB lights so now this front pulls fully off right now we can see the problem and i'll explain to you guys what the problem is so it's not your leds don't worry it's not your leds what it is is there's a fiber optic going all the way down now that don't like heat and obviously with the heat of all these fins and whatnot after a while it messes them up i don't know what exactly happens i'm not a fiber optic expert but basically the heat messes with it it turns it a bit yellow i'll pop these out and we'll have a look properly in a minute but it turns these fiber optics a bit yellow the light can't travel through and basically it's knackered so we're going to pull these fiber optics out we're going to take a look at them and replace them Right, fiber optics have been removed from the case, but as you can see, uh, can you see it's not focusing? Let's just try and focus it. Thank you very much. You're not going to work. Great. Let's put this down a sec because you need to see this. Come on, you can focus. You can do it. There we go. Right. So basically, these plastic little clips just run along for the fiber optics to sit into. Pretty easy to remove, just get a screwdriver in there, lever it up, once you get a bit up you can pull the full lot out and you will be left with some wiggly bit of fiber optic stuff. It's hard to see, you can't really see anything wrong with it, although in certain parts with the naked eye looks a bit yellow. So we've got both bits out and we ordered off eBay. 4 mil, which is a size you need. Check this out. Fiber optic cable. Now, I will put the link in the description. This was £4.50, something like that. It's not a lot. But if you're like me and you like things working as they should, then get it done. This is definitely the way forward. Because if not, it's just going to annoy you. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut these to size, we're going to pop them back in. Get it all back together and see how she runs. Right, I don't know if you can see, I'm just, just gonna cut these to length, but can you see how clear that new one is compared to the old one? The old one is like white. Now obviously that's gonna restrict the light going through. In areas it's clear, but like this end, you can see how much different it is. You can't even see the floor through this one. See? But if you look here, you can see the floor. So that obviously is a problem. So I'm going to chop them. I've just lined this up. We're going to chop it there. We're going to pop them back. I'll try and keep doing it in stages so you can see exactly how I've done it, guys. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to pop them in. And we'll see you in a minute. I've got another thing to point out, right? Don't think one meter's far too much because I've just cut the two lengths here. And that is all we've got left. Probably, I'd say we probably only get one more strip done with that. So don't think, oh, I'll just get half a meter, because you might come and stuck. Just get the meter for four pound odd, worth it. Jobs are good at. So, what we do is, in here there's a little hole, which you're right there. Help if I got the camera on it. Right, there's, trying to do, trying to, Film and do this at the same time is pretty awkward, but right, 
So that's where you want it, straighten that out and start pushing it into the little, little grooves. Just work my way along to show you on this one and then I will crack on with the other one because it's it's pretty much the same. This end you gotta pop in first, push it in, there we go. Job's a good one. We're popping back out up here. No, was, but we're back in. So that is one. Can't really see it properly. It's hard, my me, me camera's focusing on stuff it shouldn't be focusing on. But you get the idea, guys. You, you pop it in at one end, pop it, in at a, pop it in at the other, and then clip it in all the way. We are about five minutes in, and we've almost done it. All we've got to do is get this cover back on to your graphics card. We'll plug the wire back in, which we unplugged. Screw it back to the motherboard and we're ready to try it. Radio, so we are just putting the HDMI's in or trying. There we go. We're all in. Right, the reason I'm recording from now is so... Uh, you can see how confident I am that this is going to work. I've not tested it or anything yet, so we will switch on the power and bloody hope it works. Oh well, would you look at that. Look at that guys, for the cost of £4 bloody 50 and two week wait from China, it's done. And how much better does that look? Look at that. That looks cool, man. So, that's how confident I was. I didn't even test it, guys. But, this is what you need to do. Sling out your old one. Order first, obviously. Order first. Get your uh, 4 mil fiber optic cable. Make sure it's the sad lit stuff because I know some fiber cables carry the light but they don't shine it out the side. But I will put the link in the description for the stuff I got. And it works a bloody treat, I tell you. That looks so much better. But um, yeah, I'll put the link in the description. You can maybe search yourself, you might find it closer to home. It might take only a couple of days instead of a couple of weeks. But I thought, it's no rush. It's no rush, it's only RGB lighting, but God, oh, let's turn the light out anyways. Let's have a closer inspection. Oh, I'll tell you what, I am so happy with that. So, so happy. And obviously you saw it before, guys, it was just dull. It was dull. But yeah, there we have it, guys. Cheap, easy fix for the Republic of Gamers Asus Strix GTX 1070. But... I'm not saying it won't work on others. If you've got a similar sort of card with like fiber bloody cables which light up, this is a solution, I tell you. If LEDs working, this is the way I found out. I just looked in that gap and the light was working and I was like, it's not the bulb then, is it? It's clearly something to do. With what travels or carries the light, should I say. So, done. Thanks for watching, hope this helped. I will leave the link in the description below. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you soon.